How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. Um, today I'm going to be uh, doing a little video on uh, your screws and your hinges. And I, there's a lot of people out there, including myself, have had trouble with hinges. Now, if somebody was to kick your door in on your house and all the little screws popped off, or you got a hinge on your, say, your cabinet, and one of the screws strip out, and uh, you can't get it tight. It just keeps spinning, but it won't tight. So, uh, tighten up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix that, uh, a couple little steps, and show you how to fix a stripped wood screw. Um, and like I said, I, I know a lot of people have had these problems. Actually, somebody just asked me the other day, and I tried to explain to them how to fix uh, that stripped out screw in that wood. So I'm going to show you what you really need and how to fix a stripped out wood screw. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a drill. Now I'm going to use the same epoxy I use on my knives, my homemade knives, but you don't have to use this. You could use Gorilla Glue, Elmer's Glue, you could use just about any type of glue. Uh, I like a Gorilla's Glue, I love the epoxy, and Elmer's Glue is okay too. You'll need something to mix whatever if you're just using regular glue you don't need nothing to mix but I'm gonna need this for my epoxy you're gonna need a 3 8 drill bit a piece of 3 8 dowel and a some type of a saw which I'm using a small coping saw and uh, probably another small bit to re-drill your hole where your screw goes in uh, that's pretty much it and a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah, you know, we got one or whatever yours if be flathead or Phillips, whatever. Okay, now what I have here set up is just a hinge on a piece of board, just to show you how to do this. Now, let's say all your screws there are tight, but say these are all tight, and then your middle one just keeps turning and it, it won't tighten no matter how much you turn it it still won't tighten it just spins in there so what you're going to do first these these two are good this one's bad and i actually stripped this one out on purpose so i could show you how to fix it so let's get to fixing this thing first thing we do is get our hinges off let's do this the fast way Okay, now we know this one here is definitely stripped out. We're going to make sure. As you can see, it keeps spinning. So it's all stripped out. What you're going to need is a piece of quarter, or this is 3 8 dowel. Now, this is probably the best to use on a small screw like that. Now, maybe if the screw is bigger, you might want something bigger. But this 3 8 dowel is going to be great. So I'm going to cut off probably about an inch. Now you could cut it off a little bit longer if you want, but try to go about an inch. You want to go at least ways what your screw is. You can see what your screw is there. Try to get at least ways what your screw is there. Maybe a little bit longer. Then you're just going to take your drill bit, get your 3 8 drill bit, small 3 8 drill bit. Get it set up in your drill here. Go ahead and drill this hole out. Now, there's where our screw is supposed to go. Now we got this huge hole. So when I went and got it done, I cut off a nice little piece of that down. And I took it on the sander and I just tapered the end of it just a little bit. Just got a little taper on it. That's so it'll fit down in this hole a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some epoxy. Let's get this over here and get it mixed up. Now this is five minute epoxy so it's not going to take me long to do this. It shouldn't take long to set up. And you just use equal parts. Now this epoxy you could buy right in at um, Lowe's is where I got mine. 
and use equal parts of epoxy. Mix it up real good. After you got this stuff mixed up, you got about five minutes. Okay, now we got about five minutes on that. So I went, I actually have a little wooden hammer. You don't have to use a wooden hammer. You could use just about any hammer you want. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of this epoxy and put it around the inside of this hole. Put a little bit down in there. Then I'm going to take some. And I'm going to put on my dowel that I'm going to be putting in that hole. I'm going to stick it right in that hole. And then we're going to give it a tap. Alright, get this cleaned up a little bit. Okay, now we got that back in there. We're going to let that set up a little bit. And then we're going to re-drill our hole and get this thing put right back together. Okay, I got that. That's been setting up for a little while. Now, we're just going to go ahead and mark our hole. Just like you would on your, on your door frame there. Just try to find the center. And then go ahead and re-drill out your hole. Right down through that wooden plug. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and set our screws. Okay, now we're as good as new. All of them are tight and good to go. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh, I think just about anybody could do that, no problem at all. Uh, most all the stuff that I used right there on the table, you could pick up at uh, your local hardware store or uh, at Lowe's or Home Depot. Oh. Uh, you know, you want to try to keep them screws tight in there. If you got one loose, say, on your cabinet in your kitchen or, you know, your kitchen, any door or hinge, anything. If you have that problem with those screws, just do the steps that I did right there and you won't have any problem. Now, if you was to use, say, like an Elmer's glue or something like that, you may want to let that set a little bit longer. That was a five-minute epoxy I had there, and it wasn't going to take very long for that to set up. So, um... Uh, you know, just depend on, make sure you read your bottle and see how long it takes to dry before you go putting your hinge back on. And if it would happen to be one of your doors on your house, make sure that you do it, uh, you know, where you have enough time, you're going to be around to uh, let that set up a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, a comment if you'd like. Until next time.